the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Spiritual growth is measured by two indices. Number one, the first biblical index for measuring spiritual growth is your degree of conformity to the image and the character of the Christ in experience. This is the first biblical principle or biblical index. You are not growing spiritually because you are staying long in church. You are not even growing spiritually just because you are serving in church. The first biblical index that measures a believer's growth is your degree of conformity to the image and the character of the Christ. It says, my little children of whom I travail until Christ be formed in you. Index number two, your depth of understanding the ways of God, your depth of comprehending the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom. So you know you are growing spiritually to the degree to which light, spiritual illumination, your mind is open to understand the secrets of the kingdom are we together so we are going to pray and ask the Lord to open our eyes as I run you through some of these principles listen these are not the opinions of a man our fathers and the patriarchs many of them today have joined the cloud of witnesses these are the principles that they engage in their lives. You are not listening to cunningly devised fables. These are not opinions of men. These are doctrinal truths that the jealousy of God is behind them. That everyone who dares to believe and engage these truths accordingly, you will never be small. You will never be mediocre. It's a guarantee that I give you from whatever background and regardless of the prevailing circumstances you can walk your way like entering a lift and with shock and wonder first to yourself and then to all that care to see you you will rise as if the devil does not exist are we blessed number one the first principle that controls the advancement of men and women in this kingdom is called the power of vision the power of vision the power of vision prophet joel himself began to speak and he said when the spirit of god is poured upon all flesh look up please that the young men will see the young men will see visions the young men will see visions joel chapter 2 the young men will see visions proverbs 29 and verse 18 please give it to us the bible says and without vision the people perish or the people cast off restraint without vision the people it says perish that means that vision is so powerful that without it your life has no coordinates of growth and success these are irrefutable principles a vision is a clear picture a clear picture of your destination a clear picture of the next level of your life we live in a society that is full of maybe sincere people but many visionless people especially for us young people the average young man in this country has no idea of where they are going we allow status quo to decide what to do next i'm done with school what next the government says go and serve so i obey i'm done with service what next 
family puts pressure on you and says okay get a job and then get married and then have children and then maybe go abroad if you are tired of nigeria what a visionless way of living every great man in scripture and even through history were men who caught the vision for their destinies early there is timing with vision god bless you sir so good to see you thank you reverend vindiolu thank you early in life i've had the privilege of studying great fathers of faith in this nation and around the world i can tell you many of them some of them started preaching at age nine and did not stop till they saw the lord very clear vision our generation is full of distracted people and sometimes let me say this respectfully say partners meeting sometimes we over pamper our children and we over pamper people instead of opening them up early to the responsibility dimension of life we keep saying he's a child while they keep behaving foolish and it becomes a habit are we together yes at age 12 while the colleagues of jesus were roaming around he was already on a course i know why i came i don't have time to waste at age 12 he was with the doctors learning the principles of the law because he would use it in his ministry 12. there's a young businessman um i think now he should be in his early 30s called gray farah Gray Farah was a young gentleman who I think had become a millionaire by age 12. And he started selling stones so that people can, you know, just, um, just wage their paper or doors. And people would drive him away and say, you are a young black boy, go away. And he would leave them politely. And that was how he started his business that has become an empire today. Warren Buffett, the great investor that we now celebrate, one of the world's wealthiest ones, he started investing, I think, at age eight or so. And when he was interviewed and they say, what's your greatest mistake? He said, my greatest mistake is that I didn't start investing early enough. Vision. Vision. Vision gives you focus. Vision gives you the, the legal grounds to say no to many things. If you are not visionary you will not have the power and the courage to say no everything that comes to clamor on your attention when you are visionary you will have legitimate ground to say no to certain things are we together yes friends can call you and say what are you doing this weekend if you're free why don't you come around and you can say oh I, i'm i'm grateful i thank god for the offer but right now i have a few books i must finish and these things these books are connected to what god is doing in my life in this season i appreciate you maybe another time and you don't feel guilty for it because you are making that sacrifice in honor of where you are going vision L let me tell you the truth and i submit to you one of the blessings of god in my life is that i found god and i found destiny early at a very 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 young age i was already clear about where i was going no confusion no dilly darling no second guessing are we together i was talking with a great man of god of recent and he looked at me and said apostle do you realize that among all of the people fathers and senior mentors and colleagues in ministry who relate with you who god has put around your life who are changing nations do you realize you're one of the youngest of them and i looked i said wow amazing it didn't occur to me i said well these are principles and if you walk in keeping with it then you will get blessed let me tell you a humorous story years ago a few, quite a few years ago i can't remember where i was traveling to and then the the class in the plane that i was seated all the people there were at least in their 60s or 70s and you know they just looked at this young man and people were passing and they would notice and say ah, apostle some of them would kneel down in the plane and greet 
and i could notice one of the people who was sitting down with such sarcasm who is this young man i'm sure maybe he's is maybe the son of some of these rich politicians or generals and i just nodded my head i said my god or god in my mind i said i respect you but if you have one tenth of my schedule you will collapse in one month don't you think that i'm just sitting here for nothing this was a position that although came by grace but was earned by diligence and knowledge we have a course in africa we frown at people who rise up early there is a spirit that celebrates lateness once god is helping you it's as though it's a cause you mean this lady just married at 22 why you mean at 24 he has built a house for his parents no let's research something must be wrong you mean this man of god is taking over territories how old is he 21 19 no way something he has a charm somewhere i reject that spirit from your life lamentations 3 27 everyone read it please it's projected one to read it is good for a man that he bear his yoke in his youth there is a timing to your life and your destiny every time is not convenient there are soccer players that you would see someone from you see these people don't many of you watch football some of you have your football clubs and all of that and you notice that when the adults and the players are coming there are little children that follow them through wearing jerseys they are already grooming the next generation of people the challenge with africa is that we do not think about the future we are not forward thinking we are only consuming what i will eat today dubai about 10 or 15 years ago started preparing to make sure because they knew that they don't have any mineral resource they don't have anything they are now preparing if you know dubai is planning their next 50 60 years now i have the privilege of knowing a few people who are part of government there and so i'm not speaking from a standpoint of ignorance and we are here just thinking what we will eat i am happy comparing ourselves with ourselves i deliver you from mediocrity in the name of jesus i deliver you from the limitations of territory vision now write this down your vision is the big picture of where you are going God has spoken to you as a man of God. Go and raise a people of glory or greatness or power. That is a vision. But your vision must be broken into goals. Vision leads to goals. Goals lead to daily tasks. This is how you break it. When you fulfill your daily tasks, you will fulfill your short-term goals that will eventually lead you to fulfilling your vision i never get up in the morning sincerely so and just roam around wow this is the day the lord has made Shada thank you jesus and just roam around no way before i sleep or early in the morning when i get up i already plan my day i'm having this today i'm having that today it's better to plan and fail than to not plan it's more honorable to plan most believers do not pay attention to these weightier matters of the kingdom and they find out that while they are doing well in things like prayer bible study their lives and destinies remain stagnated because these are forces of advancement that have no prejudice they have no biases whatsoever everybody say vision make up your mind to be visionary let there be something that your life is about if i look at you right now and say what are you doing right now you should be able to tell me i'm preparing for an extraordinary life so what are you doing what face are you in right now I'm, I'm reading books there are books that i'm reading congratulations you're making progress what are you doing now i'm opening myself to a system of mentorship and learning wow what are you doing now i'm serving while i'm learning there has to be something your life is about are we together write this down vision defines your relationships 
when you know where you are going it will define who goes with you if you do not have vision you will not be able to edit the relationships that come to your life anybody should not be with you on that journey any good person should not be there just because they are good does not mean they are for you there are many good things you will have to leave behind if you intend to go forward it's not just evil things there are many good things you have to leave for instance watching television for 10 hours for no reason for instance being on social media from morning till night with no definite purpose for instance just around and just talking nothing is wrong with that except that it is at the detriment of your destiny can i tell you this the unit of destiny is time whatever takes your time has taken part of your destiny the unit of destiny is time I'm deep in love with you, Abba Father. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. My heart longs for you, precious Jesus. I'm deep in love with you, Lord. From the time I received the mandate of my assignment and I knew the gravity of where God was taking me to, I made up my mind that there's no distraction. Listen, if your destiny is to carry a Bible, you don't need to do exercise and build muscles. You can carry a Bible with one hand. Is that true? If your destiny is to lift this pulpit, you may need a bit of exercise. But if your destiny is to carry this house, you don't just need to do exercise you need to find all the machines that can help you lift that house so you see when god defines your destiny the devil will surround you with people who are not carrying what god wants you to carry and if you exercise at their rate you will not grow god is calling you to be an apostle and a prophet to the nations and you are having people who are just praying for 10 minutes and pray today and ask for forgiveness after two weeks and resume carelessness again and you are joining them with the kind of mandate on your life when you go to the group where you belong you will find out that there are minimum standards to carry this grace can i tell you this there are certain anointings the day they land your life there is a minimum level of prayer or prayer time there is a minimum level of fellowship time if not i assure you it will lift believe me when i tell you this maintaining the anointing is harder than receiving it have they given you a car of 10 million and you are afraid of that car because you know that one tire of that car alone huh can service one tire one correct tire genuine tire of that car if you buy all four tires it will buy another car so when you are receiving that car as a gift you must begin to think and say while i'm receiving this i must know that the maintenance of it whereas you will service a car with maybe three four five thousand for that car you are using fifty thousand naira to service a car they will tell you the engine oil is different they will tell you they don't sell the parts one by one you have to buy a whole set that means you must be careful in managing it because if that part spoils you will buy both the one you need and the one you don't need is everybody around your life going where you are going there are many people in our lives who have nothing to lose so they can afford to be careless while they distract you who has something to lose some of them come from families already that respectfully speaking maybe their parents have stolen money bought lands for them but you are coming from a family of nine people and you are the first person to rise and you are reading at their rate you are praying at their rate whereas you have covenants and altars that are waiting to bring you down they come from a family where a prophet has done the work of prayer and broken the foundations they can afford to be careless and go scot-free those around your life are they going where you are going we are discussing vision this is just key number one
you must make up your mind that from today i set my face as a flint there has to be something my life is about when i wake up in the morning i give god glory but my life must be about something my greatest joy today is to see that my 24 hours i invested pursuing my assignment revealing jesus to a generation enthroning him seeing that the gates of hell continue to be torn down for as long as i'm alive and this is what i will do till the day that i see his face all my days on earth i will await the moment that i see you face to face for nothing in this world will satisfy jesus you're the cup that will run dry all my days on earth i will await the moment that i see you face to face for nothing in this world can satisfy jesus you're the cup that will run dry vision vision that you go back to your house today and tear some books away get out of my destiny i've wasted enough time dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and lekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.